Good morning, stampers. My name is Deb Domke. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And this is our project for today. I'm calling it Butterflies in Flight. This one is a happy birthday. You can make it into a thank you card. A get well card would be fabulous because it's so bright and cheerful. Let me back you out now. And we can get started on our card. I just fell in love. I love butterflies. A lot of people really do like butterflies too. We're going to be using our Birthday Blossoms stamp set. This is in our annual catalog. And the Papillion Potpourri stamp set with our butterflies also in our annual catalog. <coughs> And you might want to consider getting them now. Um, I'm not sure if they are going to be on our retired list next month because we have a new catalog that does come out in June. So keep an eye out on the retired list. I'll let you know. You're also going to need the Elegant Butterfly Handheld Punch and the Bitty Butterfly Handheld Punch. Those can also be purchased in the annual catalog. We're going to be using multiple stamp pads. I have Rich Razzleberry, Cucumber Crush, Tempting Turquoise, Daffodil Delight, Melon Mambo, Pumpkin Pie, and Pacific Point. All in our Brights collection. You're going to also need an envelope that you can decorate front and back. Oh, and this is the inside of our card. Have a beautiful birthday, and I just put one butterfly in. And we're also going to be using our curvy tr corner trio punch again. We're going to use the scallops. I love it. It just makes your card more elegant. So I really do love to use that. Okay, we're going to have So Saffron cardstock, and it measures 8.5 inches by five and a half inches and it's scored at four and a quarter. So we're just going to fold that over right in half and use our bone folder and give it a nice crease. Then you're going to need Two pieces of white cardstock that measure five and a quarter by four. One goes on the inside of your card and one will be stamping on the front. So before we start stamping, we need to use our corner trio punch. It has two stoppers right here on each side on whichever side you want to use of your punch. You just slide your paper in and punch. Slide it right in and make sure it's butt up against the stoppers. It's that simple to use. And it really does. It makes your card so much more elegant. Let me get rid of this. And let's go ahead and do our front card stock before we stamp on it. Now we got the punch out. It's another beautiful spring day here in Indiana. I'm loving it. This afternoon I'll be out working in my flower beds trying to get them ready for spring. And that's done. Okay, I have my stamp ready. I'm going to be putting Have a Beautiful Birthday. And I'm going to use Cucumber Crush for that. Let me get my stamp and scrub over here to the side ready. Spray it a few times. If you don't have a stamping scrub, you really should buy one. They're excellent. I'll do a video on them. On how to take care of it and clean it and all. Okay, Cucumber Crush. Have a beautiful birthday. This is on the inside of our card. Make sure it's nice and even. And just gently tap it. It's all inked up and I bring mine down a little bit and make sure it's centered and lined up and gently press down. 
and hold it for a few seconds for the ink to get on the paper. And that should be good. Yep, very nice. Clean my stamp off and set it off to the side. Now we're done with the cucumber crush. And then we can go ahead and put it inside of our card. I like to use Tombow liquid mono adhesive. It doesn't let go of your pieces that if you put the right amount of glue on. If you just do tiny bits, I'm sure it wouldn't last. But adhesive just doesn't seem to do well in um, high humidity. I have received cards from people that they've made beautiful cards and I've had to put them back together because they just didn't either use enough adhesive or the humidity got to it. And so they pop loose. And so I like to use liquid adhesive. That looks straight. Give it a nice crease down. <coughs> There's nothing more embarrassing as to make spend so you know good time making a nice card for someone, and then they call you and say, "Hey, the card fell apart. <laughs> it was wasn't put together right." That's very embarrassing. Now I'm going to use Wink Estella, and I'm going to highlight just the birthday in my Wink Estella, just very lightly. I don't want a lot; just a nice little amount of glitter on it. I just use the very tip of the brush and it keeps things more controlled. And this dries very fast, the Wink Estella does. So you don't really have to worry about it taking long to dry. And that's it. The inside of our card is now completed. So we'll set this aside and we'll come to the front of our card and start working on it. You're also going to need some white cardstock to do your stamping of your butterflies on it. But right now I would like to stamp Happy Birthday on the front. Get that done. That way I can put my butterflies all over the place. Hopefully you can see that. Yep, you can. All right, and just gently tap, tap, tap. Yep, that's inked up. Make sure it's centered. Bring it down just a tad. And lined up and hold it for just a couple seconds. And there we go, very good. Remember, if you don't get it even, you always have the back of your card you can use. But I think this looks good, so we can go with this. All right, now some butterflies. I have the small butterfly and the larger one. And we will need our spare piece of paper, or card stock. And then we're just gonna start randomly going for different colors so here is Rich Razzleberry. I'll stamp this a couple times, one in each butterfly, the large and the small. A little more ink on it. Put it on my extra card stock first. That looks good. Put one on my card front. And you can put it at any angle, anywhere you want. Just load it down with butterflies. 
there's something about the beauty of the butterfly that does make you feel good. Okay, we're done with the rich razzleberry. Now I want to do tempting turquoise. Now I want to put the tempting turquoise on my envelope too. So let me get, well I don't have a spare envelope so I'll do another envelope later. Alright, do some tempting turquoise. This is one of my favorite colors, this in Bermuda Bay. I like those. I'll stamp the next butterfly right down. Nice image. And we'll put this one going this way off the card a little bit. that off. Now we'll bring in, oh I forgot to bring in my small butterfly with the rich razzleberry. I'll have to get that back out and do my small butterfly. I just flipped my paper over to do some small ones. And I'm not sure how many I want so I'll do two of each of the small ones because the small ones you can use just to fill in your spaces that you want a butterfly let me get the rich razzleberry out real quick and do that in the small butterfly and also remember our celebration does end here in what another week so if there's items you want on the celebration catalog you better order them now that way you can ensure that you get them nice. and it's also a good time to sign up as a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! because you do get extra product for your $99 of sign-up fee. Um, you can, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please remember I am a demonstrator, would love your business. And if you need a catalog, please get a hold of me, send me an email, and I can get you one out. Now we're going to use Daffodil Delight. I want to start putting some small ones in here too, I think. A few small ones. Nice. And we can't forget the inside of our card too. We do need to stamp one or two inside. It's up to you on how many you would like to put in. But I do like the Daffodil Delight so I think I'm going to bring my card in and put one up here toward the top. I should have stamped it before I glued it down but I'll just have to make sure I'm very careful. Very nice. set that one aside. We have, oh I didn't do the large one yet. This is a very simple card to do. It's just it's repeating stamping your butterflies. So I'm trying to remember where you want your butterflies on your envelope plus your front of your card plus extra butterflies and on the inside of your card. But it's easy to backtrack a little bit too. So now we'll use some Melon Mambo. Go 
ahead and get our large